Hi, I'm Anne. And I'm Scott. And we're here playing the Arkham Horror card game on Optimal Play. Scott, um, do you know what happened? It, I'm very confused. It's been a really long time. I don't know where we are. <laughs> yeah, it's or... been a minute. So here's what I recall. Okay. We were on a train. We were going to where we were supposed to be going, and then we got sucked into a portal in time and space. Oh. And within that, we lost an Ursula. Oh, she <sighs> she didn't come out. Not that I know. I saw her flipping a coin, and then... Or, she's dead. I'm pretty sure. She's dead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I don't know where we are, do you? No. Okay. Crap. Hey, strangers. So, oh. <laughs> what are you doing out here in the bayou? Hi, who are you? I am Rex Murphy, reporter. I'm investigating some gruesome murders out here, and apparently investigating people falling from the sky now. We're a little lost. <laughs> Just to Super put it lost. Mildly. Wanna, wanna help? I'm hoping to not get mauled, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you should come help us. Let's, let's join and be friends. All right. Yay. Well, well, I am back as Rex Murphy, and we are playing Curse of the Rougarou today. It's a side scenario that you can slot anywhere into a campaign, and we are figured it'd be a good time inside the portal <laughs> <laughs> to investigate some werewolfy, murdery stuff in the bayou. Um, so I'm playing Rex Murphy. He was recently altered in something called the Taboo List, if you're not aware, where because he was one of the strongest investigators in the game, probably the strongest investigator, some tweaks are suggested to bring him a little bit back down to earth, so I am going to be following those. Mm -hmm. So his ability is that he gets extra clues when he investigates really well. I'm going to be applying the text that says only once per turn. Boo. that I can do that. So Anne and Scott, you guys did have some cards that were affected by this taboo list also. Their experience costs were raised. Luckily, since it came, this thing came out in the middle of our campaign, we're just grandfathering that in. Yes. So cool. enjoy, enjoy your strong cards. <laughs> Yay! For, right. for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Curse the Ruguru. So in this scenario, you actually randomly determine which of these locations we're going to use. You guys are completely unfamiliar with them, right? So I'm just going to let you pick. <laughs> Super! So I've laid them out here. We first are going to choose one of these that we're going to never ever go to. We're going to throw it on the floor or something. Um, would you want to never go to the Brackish Waters, the Cursed Shores, the Foul Swamp, or the Forgotten Marsh? They all sound equally bad. I'm just realizing that they all sound like synonyms of each other. They, they really do. Um... <laughs> they have uh, traits of the help. Um, the Forgotten Marsh is Wilderness, the Foul Swamp is Unhallowed, the Cursed Shores are New Orleans, and the Brackish <laughs> Waters are Riverside. Okay. I don't want to go to New Orleans. Where do we not want to go first? Um, something about Foul Swamp is kind of putting me off. I feel okay. like there's a lot of mosquitoes there. And I don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> Safe bet. So, okay. Is that cool? I will, I will slide with that one. So, so I'm we're, to blame. we're removing those from the game. We're not going to see them unless we play this scenario again another day. Okay. Uh, and now we decide where we do want to start first. So which of these three should we start with? The other two we'll see later on. I like New Orleans. All right, let's go to let's New start Orleans. Start in the big city. All right, start in the cursed shores. All right, new friends, here's what's going on. <laughs> Terror grips New Orleans. Minnie Klein, your contact at the Arkham Advertiser. And my friend, as another reporter at the Arkham Advertiser had slipped you a draft of the article over a cup of coffee at Velma's Diner. It would have gone to print had Doyle Jeffries, the lead editor, not scoffed at the concept. I believe his exact words were, I ain't printing the ravings of some voodoo lunatic and passing it off as news, she explained. From the sly grin spreading across her face, you could tell she smelled a story. The headline was sensationalist. Three killings in nine days was enough to spook a town, sure. But you doubt all of New Orleans is gripped by terror or even knows about the killings. Still, something piqued your interest. Lady Esprit, the voodoo priestess from the article, claimed that a malign curse had taken root in the bayou. There's something to this, isn't there? I know that look, many said. You weren't sure. If Lady Esprit was right, this Rougarou wouldn't stop killing at three, that's for sure. But curses? Wolf people? How could such things be real? Only one way to find out. You put on your coat and head for the north side station. All right. Some kind of cursed werewolf monstrosity is rumored to be murdering people. All right. Uh, to find out what we're what we're trying to do, Scott, want to give us the agenda? Sure. All right. A creature of the bayou. After arriving in New Orleans the next day, you start your investigation by asking the locals what they know of the recent killings. As you suspected, most know very little of the incidents. 
You manage to find several eyewitnesses who give similar descriptions of the creature. It's the lithe, muscular form, lanky arms, and wolf-like visage. A promising start, but if there's any truth to the rumors about this curse, <laughs> you'll have to talk to Lady Esperit herself. Oh. So five clues for that one, it looks like. Uh, that is five doom. Five doom. <laughs> five doom. <laughs> the, doom. The, the agenda is the bad one, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. right, good. I do need a refresher. Yeah, so, yeah, so the, the portal did a lot the, of things to our memory. It's fine. It's fine. The bad stuff, the agenda, is the creature of the bayou. The good stuff is we're trying to find Lady Esprit. Yay, I get to read it. Um, finding Lady Esprit. According to your contact, Lady Esprit is a voodoo priestess who lives deep within the bayou. Most tend to stay clear of her lonely shack. After all, the bayou can be a dangerous place, even where it not for the recent rash of savage killings. Objective, <laughs> only investigators at a bayou location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. All right, and that number of clues is one, one. one times the number of players, so three. Okay. Yeah. All right, and since we've chosen the cursed shores, black storm clouds loom above you, watching patiently as you trudge through the bayou. Their shapes twist and churn in the night sky, blotting out the stars. Uh, here, it's got one trub but no clues on it to start. As an action, you can take one damage. You get plus two to your skill value for the next skill test you would make this turn. And forced, when you leave Cursed Shores, you choose and discard a skill card from your hand. Boo! So anytime you want to leave this place, it costs you a skill card, if you have one. If you don't have any in your hand, then you're off the hook, at least. Uh, before we start, who would like to be the lead investigator? I don't remember who it was last time. I don't either, but I am, me. I am going to insist that it's one of you two, because... I think it was me, so I will uh, <laughs> All right, I'll pass do it, it on to you. All right. We should have, that way. Should have watched the previous episode <laughs> to remind myself. Just blame it on the, on the portal. <laughs> Who would like to go first? Our lead investigator? I guess lead investigator. Or our newbie can go first. I, I have a real simple turn. Let's, I'll just knock it out? Yeah, let's okay. knock it out. I'll play an emergency cash to gain three resources. Uh, you don't even need to hand it to me. I'm about to spend it on Dr. Milan Christopher, an ally who gives me plus one intellect. And after you successfully investigate, gain one resource. He also got tweaked by the taboo list. Mm. There's a once per round limit on. Actually, like you exhaust him when you get his mm. free resource. So I'm not going to end up with 20 resources at the end of the game like I used to with him. But uh. he's actually, he'll, I think he'll still be real strong. So then as my third action, I will play Fingerprint Kit. Uh, it is a tool that uses three supplies. I can exhaust it and spend a supply to investigate, getting plus one to my investigation. And if I succeed, discover an additional clue. Okay, that's it for me. I think I'll uh, I'll go next. Um, I'm going to my first action. I'm going to just put my machete out, just so I have it. And that's three. Yep, all your resources since you're indebted. Nah. And uh, then I'm going to use my next two moves to take cards. All right, Scott. <clears throat> I'm going to put down my fire axe for one. The Fire Axe. Uh, fight. If you have no resources in your resource pool, this attack deals plus one damage. And uh, during an attack using Fire Axe, spend one resource, you get plus two for the skill test. Strength. So I will leave. And then this one I have to discard a skill card to leave? Uh, yeah, it has to be, it's a skill type card, so like it has to say skill in the corner and yep. have no cost. Alright, so I will go to... They're both the same on this side. I will go to the left one. Okay, take so, a look. So, I went to the left New Orleans one. <laughs> uh, it is late, but the city's nightlife is f in full swing. Jazz clubs and speakeasies rule the night, but your interests lie elsewhere. And I have been taken to the Garden District. Ooh, sounds um, nice. <laughs> test Agility 7 to break into a nearby greenhouse and take a look around. If you succeed, remember that the investigators have found a strange doll. Uh, and underneath that it says, a trail of blood and mangled flesh led you here. You suspect this is no ordinary garden. Super. It does not look like there are any clues, though. No, no clues. But you maybe Brutal. are able to find a doll if you win. Yeah, so you're, it's, it's probably good you went there, because if, if that's something we want to do, find a, mm -hmm. find a strange doll. Uh, you've got Streetwise, you're good at getting a lot of agility. So you have one more. Yeah. One more, so you could do it. Um... Yeah, it's, it's early. Let's roll the dice. I'll get I'll get some back. So I'll have nine. 
to test with. So I can okay. come with three. I can throw. Let's make it ten. Okay. Ten versus seven, probably. This is the highest I think I've ever tried to go for in this yeah. game. Alright, what do we like? Like this one. Whoa! Good mm. start! What's your Elder Sign do? Plus one for each resource you have. Damn it. Not <laughs> zero, that it, zero not is that it matters. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So you got right. a creepy doll. All right. Remember that you have found a strange doll. Okay. That's <laughs> that's it for that. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, that's the round. Enemies would act, but there aren't any, and so it's upkeep. We can refresh our cards, draw a card, and take a resource. If you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Top of our new round, our first doom on the creature of the bayou. And Anne, start off our Mythos Phase Encounters. You're the lead. I don't want to. You gotta. Ripples on the surface. <laughs> Revelation. Test three is willpower? Yes. Haha. <laughs> Test three willpower. I've been calling it like head or brain. <laughs> so far. Willpower. It is willpower. Test three willpower. For each point you fail by, take one horror. If you are at the bayou location, you cannot commit cards to this skill test. You are at the bayou, so no, no cards. So I can't add anything, and I'm also I'm going four to three. Okay. That sucks. And I can't do anything about it. No. The skull is. <laughs> I don't know what the skull is. Where do I check? Um, right here. Negative two, negative four. Instead, if you are at the bayou location, oh. that's real bad. That's wow. real bad. All right, three more horror. Ugh. I can heal horror, though. I got a bunch of cards. I can heal some horror. <laughs> good, good. You'll need it. We'll be all right. I can heal this. I can fix this. <laughs> okay. Whew. Rex, I believe. Dragged Under. Test Agility 3. If you fail, add Dragged Under to your threat area. And then if it's in your threat area, when you leave your current location, you take two damage and discard it. And at the end of your turn, you can test agility to try to get rid of it. Um, okay, my agility is three. I'm just going to test it. <laughs> Minus four. Mm -hmm. Scott took all the good luck. Scott took all the good luck. Okay, dragged under stays with me, and unless I shake it, I'm going to get two damage when I move. And That's Scott's card. That's horror. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I would prefer horror. I have nine sanity. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, I got an enemy. The Bog Gator. He's two across the board. Two, two, two. Uh, let's see. Lowest agility. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's on top of me. Mm -hmm. While Bog Gator is at a Bayou location, he gets plus two fight and plus two evade. But he's not at a Bayou location, because you're not there. Oh, I'm not at a Bayou location. Yeah. Cool. So he's twos across the board. Yeah, pretty easy to fire axe that thing. Okay. So... I am probably the one who should go looking for clues. Should I go ahead and do that? Yeah. Yes. There's no clues at my location. Right. And there's a bog gator. Unless you want to help fight it. Um, no, I am not much in the way of fighting. <laughs> I am a reporter. I don't kill them, um, I just report on them. I kind of think you should hang out for a minute and I should go first. By all means. So, I have a stand together. Ooh. Which says, choose another investigator at your location. Both of you and that investigator draw two cards and gain two resources. I love that idea. So we're going to do that. Thank um, you. Can I have two resources, please? And I'm going to gain two cards. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> so there we go. Take a resource. And I'm going to play my beat cop, um, which I upgraded last time, which is awesome. Um, not this round, but the round four. Uh, it'll deal one damage um, to an enemy at my location. But I just want it for the horror. Protection. Good call. So ex I am exhausted. Okay, Scott, you want to go next? Let's have you go and explore. Okay. So I'm going to move, which means the uh, tentacles dragging me under are going to do two damage to me as I break away. Whew, okay, it begins. Damage adds up fast when you only have six health. <laughs> All right, moving to the other New Orleans location. It is Broadmoor says three shroud it will have three clues on it it has a resign action that says we can't catch the beast you make your way to safety letting the beast roam free <laughs> people are just now beginning to settle what began as an untamed marsh 
Truth is, some evils run too deep to exorcise that easily. It also has a victory point on it if there's no clues here at the end of the game. So, since you so generously caused me to get extra resources, I think before I investigate, I'm going to play Hawkeye Folding Camera. For now, it does nothing. <laughs> but every time I'm at a location when the last clue is picked up from it, I get to put a token on it, and the more tokens that go on it and they represent me finding evidence, the more benefits it gives me. Mm, cool. Yeah. Next, I will investigate with my fingerprint kit, so I'll spend one of its supplies. So, four, five, six with the fingerprint kit, and I think I'm going to pitch in one icon, so it's seven versus three. My goal is to get all three of these clues in one fell swoop right now. Cool. Ooh, <laughs> Elder Thing. Minus four, if the Rougarou is at your location, it attacks you. But it's not. It's not. Um, but there's some foreshadowing. <laughs> yes. We might meet the Ruger. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, so I did not get my Rex bonus clue, because mm. I didn't succeed by two or more, but fingerprint gives fingerprint get gives me an extra one, so I'll take two of these. That's it for me. Oh, and, sorry, that's not it for me. <laughs> take it back. After I successfully investigate, I can exhaust Milan Christopher to get a resource. Yay. Yay. Now you're done. Okay. All right debating whether or not I should fight this thing or try to run away. It doesn't have Hunter, huh? So if you left just it, it would just... Prey is lowest agility. Okay, and since it doesn't have Hunter, if you leave it, it might just sit there forever? I don't have enough money to buy the thing that could make me have no money. Well, you can put the money into Fire Axe's ability. That's kind of the idea, is you spend your last couple resources pumping up your skill, and then it also does damage. I'm going to fight the Bog Gator. I have three, and then I'm just going to pump it up plus four, because the axe gives you plus two for each resource you spend. Mm -hmm. And I'm killing my resource pool because I want the plus damage just to try and wipe it out. Nice. So hopefully, I like... I've got two. I like this one. <laughs> plus one! Wow. Yeah. All right. He's hugging all the luck. He is. I hate sorry. this. I'm sorry. So <laughs> this I, thing is, is dead. Very dead. And yeah. I get nothing for it, but it's dead. So I'll discard it. Yay! You have two actions left? Two actions left. So I am going to leave here, and I can just come over here, right? These are connected. Mm -hmm. okay. Should I investigate, or do you want to leave that up to you? Because I have one bonus. action left. Um, well, I get the bonus on my camera as long as I'm here when the last clue is discovered. It doesn't have to be me. Okay, okay well, then let me give it a try. Okay. I only have three. What's the shroud? Three. Yeah, your odds aren't great. Do I need to give him? No. Yeah, we're just rolling the dice here, right? <laughs> okay. I like this one. Minus three. Nope. No. <laughs> All right, that's not, that's not the end of the world. Okay, well, you killed the only enemy, so nothing happens in the enemy phase, and we will upkeep. Okay, we ready for the mythos phase? Yeah. Doom number two on a creature of the bayou, and here you go, lead. Swamp Leech. Spawn. Any bayou location, Swamp Leech cannot be evaded. Forced when Swamp Leech enters a non-bayou location, discard it. Yeah, so there's a leech stuck to you, but if you, if you leave the bayou, it's going to attack you for one, because that's what happens if you do something other mm -hmm. than fight it, but then it goes away. But I can kill it. And you can kill it. I can kill it. Another dragged under... I'm going to test Agility 3 again. This time I'm actually, I have better odds because I have Manual Dexterity, which gives me two icons and I draw a card if this is successful. There you go. Ooh, great, great. So, five versus three. Zero, great. Pass to the test. Draw a card. Love it. Okay, now I get, Jesus. Slime covered dole. Ooh. Uh, it's a monster. Mm -hmm. It goes in any non bayou location, which we are currently in. Lowest remaining health. It says spawn any non bayou location? Mm -hmm. So you can put it in this one if you want. Oh. When it has a spawn effect, it doesn't, you, don't, you don't have to keep it yourself. By the way, it's a hunter. Oh, okay. So it's going <laughs> to move anyway. You can put some distance on uh, uh, You put it some distance away, but it's going to catch us. Um, it's going to go for you. By the way, lowest. Uh, what's the uh, prey? Lowest remaining health. Ooh, I don't uh, like that at all. 
When slime covered dole enters a location, each investigator at that location takes one horror. Huh. So that's that. Well, okay, so that's sitting in the garden district. Which we. It, it's gonna come for us. Yeah, if you wanted to go kill that before it jumps on me. I gotta kill this <laughs> first. Good. You could then... also. It does, it does go away if you just leave. You just take one damage. I'm making a plan. Okay, okay. Give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> I got a plan. Oh, I don't have enough resources. Fudge. I could go first and get the clues we need and okay. start the round that Let's way. Let's do that. Okay. Because I've got, I can kill everything. I just need, just need a minute. <laughs> um, okay, I'll investigate at Broadmoor. I'm not going to use my fingerprint kit because I don't need bonus clues. So, five versus three. Minus one. Great. Got the last clue. Uh, Milan Christopher, I investigated for and got a resource. Then I'll move back to the Cursed Shores. Do you get a token for your camera? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, since I found the last clue, I get one evidence on my camera, and now it's giving me plus one willpower. Yay! Just in perpetuity. Okay, I'm going to spend the clues on the act. Here are three clues. Thank you. Understanding the curse. Finding Lady Esprit's shack is no simple endeavor, but eventually you spot the decrepit shanty through the mist. Lady Esprit greets you as you enter, not at all surprised by your intrusion. She claims that the Rougarou was once a man, cursed by a being known as Shugnigarath, into the form of a great wolf. She believes that she can lift the Rougarou's curse from the bayou, but only if the creature is destroyed. Put the set aside Lady Esprit into play at a bayou location. So, oops, I've set her aside somewhere here. This is Lady Esprit, she's going to be at the location. She has an ability that says exhaust Lady Esprit and deal her one horror. Heal two damage or gain two resources. Any investigator at her location may activate this ability. So, and she has four sanity, so four times we can get this bonus resources or healing damage. Hold on, can you read that one more time, sorry? Yeah. So she has an action printed on her, uh, exhaust her and deal her one horror to heal two damage or gain two resources. Cool. And then, so, and she has four sanity, so basically four times we can do that. And she's going to chill at this location, giving us I that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> um, put into play each set-aside location. So those other two options are now entering play. This is going to get a lot bigger. Okay, so now we can access the Forgotten Marsh and the two wilderness locations that it connects to. And the Brackish Waters and the two riverside connections that it or two riverside locations that it connects to. So each of these kind of trios of location has one bayou location, and they all connect to each other. Even mm -hmm. these two connect to each okay. other. And then each of them connects to the two below it. Cool. And each, each pair also connects to one another. Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So it's kind of three triangles that are connected at, their, at the tops. Makes sense. All right. Where were we? Oh, I'm still in the middle of this text. Yeah. Okay. Put the set aside of the Rougarou enemy into play at any non-Bayou location. Oh boy. Lots of new stuff. Here is the Rougarou, the Cursed Soul. Three combat, three evade, five times the number of players' health, so 15 health. Okay. It says aloof, which means that it doesn't engage us naturally. It's just mm. going to hang out at our location, even if we're there with it. Uh, and it has retaliate, which means if you attack it and miss, it, fight, it attacks back, which would be for two damage and two horror. Okay. Mm. It says, as an additional cost for an investigator to engage the Rougarou, the investigators must spend one clue as a group. Two clues instead if there are three or four investigators. So we have to spend two clues just to engage it. Forced, after it takes damage equal to the number of players in a single phase, it finds the location that's furthest away and moves all the way there. So it runs away. Yeah, so every time okay. we do roughly one-fifth of its damage, it's going to run. Okay. Um... Okay, where should we put it? It's got to be at a non-bio location, and for now we don't have any clues, so we probably don't want it on top of us. Like, how about Riverside over here? Okay. I have some really good cards that are going to help us in defeating him. I'm glad. We will need them. <laughs> but I'm going to need some resources, so I need to hang out with this little lady for a little bit. Ooh, okay. Is there any, like, help in defeating him? You know, like, sometimes with these boss monsters, there's extra stuff that we can do. There's a, there's a little more going on, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, <laughs> this, 
few different things going on, okay. <laughs> Shuffle the encounter discard pile and each encounter card from the Curse of the Rougarou encounter set into the encounter deck. So, shuffle in that discard pile and all these cards. Fun! <laughs> into, into this deck. The encounter deck gets a lot more interesting. This last section here says the lead investigator specifically reads this aloud. Please go ahead, Anne. As you leave Lady Esprit's shack, a terrible sickness courses through you and you drop to your knees. The lead investigator puts the set-aside Curse of the Ruguru weakness into play in his or her threat area. You're becoming one too! I don't want to talk about it. That's <laughs> not very nice. Here is the Curse of the Ruguru weakness. Thank you. Uh, revelation. Put Curse of the Ruguru into your play in your threat area. Forced. At the end of your turn, holy shit! <laughs> If you have not dealt any damage, take one horror. We're going to need to make sure that you're dealing damage every turn. I need to deal damage every turn. I need to get <coughs> all my horror onto this poor girl. That's bad. Okay. Also, I'm um, in a bad place. There's more bad news that just goes with gaining a weakness. That weakness is a permanent part of your deck unless we find a way to... Get rid of it. Oh, <laughs> you might, uh, it won't always be in play, it'll be shuffled into your deck, but you might be a werewolf for the rest of the campaign. That's real bad. <laughs> That's real, real bad. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll solve it. Thanks for giving me that one when we'll, you assigned me as a lead investigator in this round. I didn't assign you. I, I blame both choose. of you. I blame both of you. <laughs> I did. Nothing. It's like outrunning. You don't have to outrun the bear, you just have to outrun the slowest <laughs> person. That's what you've done to me. You pushed me behind me, and now I'm a Ruru. I, no comment. I would never. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Our second and final act All right. is hunting the Ruguru. The Ruguru is somewhere within the vast bayou. You must track it down and destroy it, lest the beasts cursed consume you as well. Forced, after the Ruguru leaves a location, and we saw it'll move around when, when we attack it, place one clue from the token bank on that location. So, basically, as it moves around to the board, it's going to be leaving clues behind us footprints. Okay. Objective. We have to destroy the beast. If the Ruguru is defeated, read a resolution. But also, objective. Maybe there's another way. While an investigator is engaged with the Ruguru, he or she may choose to advance this act. Hmm. Nothing more to it than just engage it and take a look at the back of the card and find out more about what the, uh, what the other way might be. I think that's a like more peaceful solution. Make one with the Ruguru. <laughs> that's what you're, you're already doing that against your will. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, we were in the middle of my turn, right? I investigated and moved and have one more action. Mm-hmm. I want to get the hell away from that dole. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to move. <laughs> I will move to the Forgotten Marsh, I think. Um, when I leave the Cursed Shores, I would have to discard a skill card, as always, but I don't have any. Okay. Forgotten Marsh. You warily eye the web of vines and blackened bog waters before you, and your heart sinks. You long for the comforts of home, and yet you press onward. It's got no clues on it. It's a bayou location in the wilderness, and it just says, when you leave Forgotten Marsh, lose two resources. Super awesome. Yeah, the bayous are, uh, they really, they really tax you. <laughs> and I'm finished. Do you, would you like to go next, or do you want me to go next? Um, why don't you go next? Jenny's gonna move. She's gonna go back to the bayou. And then she's gonna move again. We can do this one, unfortunately. I'm gonna go here. And then I'm going to go to this wilderness location. Alright, take a look. Um, before you read that, the Forgotten March did say when you leave it, oh. lose two resources. You're Jenny, though. You're rich. Ish. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm at one of the wilderness locations. After two hours of navigating through impenetrable fog and overgrowth, your clothes stick to your skin and you swat at what seems like the thousandth mosquito. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm at the Trapper's Cabin. Let's see. While you're at the Trapper's Cabin, you cannot gain resources. Mm. Uh, and then it has an action, spend five resources, test lore, um, to convince an old trap to sell you his last bear trap. If you succeed, to take control of the set-aside bear trap asset. Yeah, so there's a card set aside if we decide to get it there that is bear trap. Which, when you're hunting, you could think might be useful. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> 
And that's it for you? Um, I have one more action, but oh. I can't gain resources. So maybe I'll just gain a card? Or you could leave. Or I could leave. Like what value is saying there? Then I'll go to this location. Cool. I've gone to the second wilderness location. Twisted Underbrush. Uh, action. Gain two resources and take one horror. And then it says, This region is covered in twisted plants that grow odd-looking berries. They look absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs> also, there are three clues here. Oh, great. Alrighty then. Alright, Werewolf Zoe. Um, Alright, so for my team, my turn, <laughs> I'm going to exhaust my beat cop, which deals one damage and kills this lovely little swamp leech. Nice. And since you've done a damage now, I'm going to exhaust your curse just to remember that it's not going to do horror. Thank you. Turn. Yes. And then, um, let's see here. Kind of, oh, this guy. I need to kill him. Um, yeah, so, ideally. So what, sh I should go down to him, or his next turn he's going to come to me because he has I, to come I, up? I don't think he'll engage you, though, will he? But, yeah, he, he would come up, engage, and attack if you let him come to you. All right, so I need so to go to him. Going, going to it sounds good. All right, so I'll, uh, that was a fast, my beat cop was a fast action, so I still have three. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Did you take a resource when the leech grabbed you? Because you're Zoe, whenever an enemy engages you, you get a resource. I did not, thank you. There you go. You'll um, get another one if you go in there. Ooh, and excellent, which is good. Um, you have to discard a skill if you want to leave that spot. Mm, that's true. So I, I'm going to kind of give you my long-term plan here. Mm -hmm. I have Dynamite Blast, which lets me do damage to a, um enemy at another location I'm not at. So I could do damage to the Ruguru from where I am. You sure can. And assuming we don't want to parlay with him and chat with him, um, or it, uh, I'm assuming attacking it from afar is great. But I need five resources. Well, I either run and take a resource... Or I go and engage and get a resource. That gives me two resources. I gotta go fight it. Fight it. Okay. So I'm gonna go down and engage it. All right. And that gives me a resource. Slime covered dole. That is an ugly thing. Do you have and to discard so a skill card? I have to discard a skill card, um, which breaks my little little heart. So I'm gonna get rid of unexpected courage. Okay. Um, yeah, that's legit. Um, and then, so now I'm fighting this dude. Yep, two actions left. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Vicious Blow, which is if the skill test is successful during an attack, the attack deals one damage. So that will make it two damage for this attack if I win. And the machete is another plus one. So, so I could kill it in this blow. You could. All right, can I have the bag? You can. Draw well. What am I going? Eight, eight... Uh, I think seven to two. Seven to two. Basically, just don't draw the eye fail. Why did I say that? Why did you say that? <laughs> no, I can't look. I can't look. Jesus. All right. I, okay, this one. This one. Mine too. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's dead. It's dead. I still have one action left. Right? All you did was move, fight. Move and fight. Mm -hmm. Take a resource, I think. Um, yeah, because I want to be able to have five next round. Cool. Okay. Exhausted. And there is an enemy on the board. There is. So the Ruger is the only enemy on the board, and in the enemy phase, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So we're good. Smooth sailing. And you can ready all your cards. Draw one. Gain a resource for the upkeep. So three. Doom number three. Alrighty. Bog Gator. While Bog Gator is... It at a uh, prey is the lowest agility. Mm -hmm. uh, while Bog Gator is at Bayou location, it gets plus two fight and plus two evade. But it's on you and you're not in the Bayou, so. Yay! And you get a resource when it jumps on you. Ha! <laughs> I take all the resources. <laughs> Zoe's rich. I need to be. On the Prowl. This has surged, so I'm drawing another card after it. A dreadful howl pierces your eardrums. The Rukuru is on the move. Revelation, find a non-bio location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Ruguru one location at a time until it enters that location. So, it can be anything but the Twisted Underbrush. Mm -hmm. Where do we want it to go? Did you want to throw dynamite at it? I'm going to next round, yeah. So, should we move it over near you? Yeah, put it as a connecting one because I, I, I'd get hurt and okay. die if it was at my location. Alright, so we'll send it to Broadmoor so that it's in uh, your blast radius. 
Yes. Uh, Scott, as I move this, you're gonna have to drop a clue at each place it leaves. So right here, here, here. Not here. Uh, no. no, it, it goes straight from yeah. Oh, that's right. And um, not here yet because it's when it leaves. Which is not gonna because it's gonna get well, it well because it has fifteen. <laughs> right. Yeah. Boom. Um, okay, and that had surge, so I'm drawing another card. Oh, it's a swamp leech. We've seen this one. Can't be evaded, and if I leave the bayou, then discard it. So the spawn text says any bayou location. Why don't I actually put it here, and then if you wanted to beat cop it again, or otherwise like stave off your curse by killing that? Thank you. you yes, could? that'll work just fine. Ripples on the surface. Revelation test will three. Oh. oh. No cards on that one. I'm not at a bayou location. Oh, yeah. lucky bomb. But you're not putting any in anyway? No, I don't have anything to put to it. Okay. So. I like this one. <laughs> Do it then. <laughs> I'll just again. You, uh, no horror. Nice. Lucky bomb. Okay, it's our turn. Uh, I feel like it's going to run out so bad <laughs> yeah. at some point for me. And, uh, it's so going to go well. I've got exactly the resources to buy the bear trap. Do it. I'm thinking about it. What do you have to test? You have to test lore? What? Uh, there's... Oh, there is. It's a test of three, I guess. Lore. Oh, so I'm the best one to do it also because, yeah, it has an intellect test. Spend mm -hmm. five... Wow. I hate this. Spend five resources just to take a test and maybe mm. get this, That's but... Tough. Um, oh no! Oh no, never mind. Nope. Scratch all of that. When I leave this location, I would lose two resources, and that <laughs> that won't work, so... Excellent. Maybe the underbrush, I can use its plus resources effect. But for now, I'll just move to the Twisted Underbrush and start trying to get some clues. And you have to take away two resources? Yes, thank you. Lose two resources for leaving the for Forgotten Marsh. So, second action, I will use my fingerprint kit. Take a supply off of here. Three shroud at the underbrush, so I'm at six. I want to, again, I want to get these all in one swoop if I can. I'll put in an icon, seven versus three. Minus one, great. So I passed by three, which means I get a normal clue, a fingerprint kit clue, and my Rex Murphy clue. Nice. Three clues all at once. Yay! And if you could hand me one more token, I get the second token on my camera. Which does what? Which gives me plus one intellect. This is going very well for me. <laughs> I have an action left, so I'm going to use the Twisted Underbrush to gain two resources, and I take a horror. Um, I'll put it on Milan Christopher. Who's up? I guess I could go first, um, since I'm going to do some, some stuff over here. Yeah. Um, the... First thing I'm going to do is spend five of my resources to do dynamite blast. So for dynamite, what? Does this have the uh, does not affect does not do attacks opportunity thing on it? No. Then the gator's gonna attack you. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I forgot about it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is fight the gator. <laughs> All right. Um, and it is only two. Yeah. I have to deal two damage. Two to six. Still see if I can do anything better. Um, I don't really want to use any of those for that. The worst thing in the bag is minus four, so you're good. Okay. You're good. Or off it. Well, okay. Which then you just fail. But you can't do anything about can't that. Do anything about that. Oof. Minus four. Other thing, minus four, if the Ruger is at your location, it attacks you. It's not. It's not, but I still get it, because yeah, that was the worst thing in the location. The gator's dead. And this is exhausted. Right. Okay, so now... That's done. I'm going to use dy uh, Dynamite Blast, nice. which is choose either your location or a connecting location. Deal three damage to each enemy and to each investigator at that chosen location. Three damage on that guy. Three on the Rougarou. Out of 15. Sweet. 20%. There we go. And that is exactly damage equal to the number of players during a single phase. So we find the location that is farthest from all investigators and move the Rougarou one at a time, one location yeah, at a time there. Here. It's going to be over there in the riverside. Um, so again, it's dropping footprints. I'm gonna go uh, one here, one here, one in the brackish waters, and then it can land in this one. I think is the farthest. Um, and they're equally far based right. on the connections. I don't really. It'd be better to have them there so that you can go get clues. Yeah, that's what I figure. That way, when it moves, it'll have to be two clues in the same spot. 
Okay. Um, all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is play Zoe's Cross for one. Nice. Um, for one. Uh, Zoe's Cross. After an enemy becomes engaged with me, exhaust Zoe's Cross and spend one resource. Deal one damage to that enemy. Awesome. So. Well, that just keeps the leeches off you. Right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and then... I think that's three. Move, dynamite. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm exhausted. Um, I don't have a plan, so I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm going to move again. Spend two resources. I'm going to go to the Brackish Waters. Oh, we haven't even been there yet. That's why I'm doing it, since <laughs> I don't really have anything to do. Okay. Um, the Brackish Waters. The reeking odor of dead fish overwhelm your senses. You can't help but hold your breath as you wade through the repugnant shallows. This location is a bayou. While you're at Brackish Waters, you cannot play assets. Hmm. Action. Discard two assets from your hand or from play. Test Agility 3 to wade through the dark waters and retrieve an abandoned fishing net. If you succeed, take control of the set-aside fishing net asset. Hmm. Hmm. That's also good for hunting. <laughs> so I have to discard two assets and then I test. Yeah. Kind of like for the uh, bear trap, spend five resources and then test. It's, it's rough. Ooh, is that something I'm willing to do in this moment? I forgot to get my resource from Milan Christopher. I'm going to take it now. No, I don't think I'm willing to do that. Because I only have three agility and I can't boost it. <laughs> I think I'll move again. Okay. Just reveal stuff. Alright, so I went to Riverside. Even at this late hour, bells and shouts sound across the piers as dock workers go about their business. Fauberg Marigny? Sure. Anybody else want to take a shot at that one? Fauberg Marigny. Yeah, sure. I like Fauberg Marigny. Let's go with that. Okay. I think it's, it's probably French. Sure. Right, so there's a lot of silent letters. So Fauberg. Fauberg, Fauberg Marigny. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. While you're at place, <laughs> reduce the cost of each asset you play by one. Resign. You can't catch the beast. You make your way to safety. No, no, no clues at this place. Okay. And that's everyone, right? So the leech doesn't do anything Great. in any phase, neither does the Rougarou. So we're through to upkeep. Ooh, sexy. All right, team. Mythos phase. Mythos phase. Four out of five doom on a creature Ooh, of the bayou. We gotta do some damage to that. All right, here we go. Bog Gator, yay! While Bog Gator is at the bayou location, it gets plus two, but I'm not in the bayou, so nope. if you, Mr. Bog, you. But you get a resource when an enemy jumps on you. All the resources! Ooh, I got a slime cover dole. Oof. It's, oh, it spawns at any non bayou location. I'm gonna put it on not me. You can put him down near me. Yeah, he's a I'm hunter. I'm gonna kill all of them. Ooh, he's a hunter? Well, he's a hunter, um, yeah. He'll head your way so he won't automatically jump on her. No, he will, because um, he, he, he goes after the closest and the lowest health breaks ties. I'm uh, curious yeah. if. Actually, because I have to come kill this guy next round. Mm -hmm. Will I'm gonna be the one that has to kill the Rougarou, and not necessarily. Not necessarily. Brandon's our clue guy. He could go parlay with the beast. <laughs> See what's on the back. It's fair. Whew. It's so scary though. <laughs> Is it? I don't. Well, I just don't have a lot of. If it attacks me while I'm over there, I don't have a lot of health. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this dole... I guess my point is, is I'm happy to fight it, but if we keep giving me all the monsters over here, I'm never going to get to him. Yeah. And we're gonna exhaust all of our rounds. Well, there are other ways to get, like, it might just end up moving back to you. Okay, yeah. Right, if we draw more of the cards that move it, mm -hmm. or... So... Well, I think we just I, have to get the fishing net, get the bear trap. You know. Yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm happy enough with putting it by you and just letting you play... Okay. Play whack-a-mole for a little while longer. <laughs> That's fine with me. I have my curse. I need to keep killing, so. Sure. Yeah. Like, All right. to do it. Scott, you still need an encounter card? On the prowl, surge, revelation, find a non by location with the fewest clues on it. Move the rugger there. Hmm. Okay. So, we've got four options. 
You've got enough enemies that we probably don't want to move it to you right now. We can't anyway, because there's a clip. Uh, this, but we can move it to you. Oh! But... I mean, I if you move it to me, I have to kill him in my first action. Engaging it as an action. Engaging it, and then I could do damage to it, but then I have to leave. Yeah, I could do damage to it this yeah, round. Yeah, your cross and machete would and, do a combined three damage, which would make it leave. And so. I have... Un um, uh, I have Reckless Assault, which adds Ooh, another four. So that can make sure you hit him. You do want to make sure to hit, because he has Retaliate, he'll hit you back. Yeah. So that... You bring him to me. That sounds great. Sure. I love it. Okay, so we're going to... He's going to leave Riverside, leave the Brackish Waters, leave the Cursed Shores. So clue there, too. And land in the Garden District. Dragged Under. Test three agility. Can't really add anything to it. Can I? You could with Streetwise if you want to spend your resources on that. <sighs> You know what? Let's do it. I don't feel like dealing with this. <laughs> so I took my agility up to six. Minus two. Beat it. Nice. Yay. Cool. Our turn. Can I try for the bear trap? Do and it. And see what that is. Do it. Okay. I will move to the Traverse Cabin with my first action. Second action, spend five resources. That hurts. But I'm going to test at... Let's see, so it's intellect three. I have four, five, six, because my camera's giving me one now. And I will throw in an icon. So seven versus three? Seven versus three. Minus one. Got it. Let's find the bear trap. Yay! What did you get? So it's an asset that I will now control. As a fast action, attach bear trap to your location. Forced, after the Rougarou enters the attached location, attach bear trap to the Rougarou. Attached enemy gets minus one fight and minus one evade. Mm, there you go. Yeah, okay. So we can set a trap and it'll be uh, a little slower and a little weaker after that. Hmm. I... Uh... Don't want to stay here where I can't gain resources. I think you should come here because you're the only one who can get this. Get the clues. Oh, well, the clues and what's your agility? At? Mm, it's three. I don't have any assets to pump. That oh, up. I don't either. I don't have a single asset in my hand. Maybe we don't need to worry about the fishing net okay. all that much. I'm curious if those are the things that you need to parlay with the Ruguru. It's an interesting thought. <laughs> Would make sense. Oh, uh, you are welcome to look at the back of the act once you're engaged with it. If I wanted to, oh, yeah, I don't it, know if I want to. It just, it just, and it's not an action or anything. It just says the while an investigator is engaged with the Ruger, they may look at the back of the act. But it doesn't advance it. Like, oh, you've looked at the back of the act. Now you've done something, and you cannot do it. I can't. I'm just can't, saying. Can't confirm or deny yeah, <laughs> what, yeah, what yeah. will happen. I'm willing to roll those dice. But you'll learn more about that objective, I can guarantee you that. Because right now it's just some flavor text that says maybe there's another way. Mm-hmm. Okay, for my last action, yeah, I don't want to be at the cabin. I think I'm just going to move back to the Twisted Underbrush. I don't really want to hang out in the bayou because bad stuff happens in the bayou. Fair. So I'll chill there for this turn. Okay. Well, since you'll do all the fighting, I'll let you end it. I'm gonna go here and see what's the last card. Autobahn Park. Uh, Force, when you invade an enemy at Autobahn Park, discard a random card from your hand. Leaves flutter in the cold wind, breaking the stillness of the park. With the area strangely abandoned, you feel as though you don't belong here. Hmm. Sure three don't believe. and three clues. In addition to the two that were already here. Damn. So you can go mine some clues if you like. Yeah, I can. Hmm. And can, you wait, can she engage him? After uh, I defeat him. Um, yes, because she can spend my clues. Oh, it says okay, that investigators okay. spend, clues can spend the clues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it works like he would hope it works. <laughs> <coughs> Otherwise, like you, you're never gonna have clues. <laughs> We'd be boned. Do you have any moves left? I think that was only your first <laughs> one. I don't know what to do with myself now. Um, drawing cards, gaining resources never hurts. Yeah, it might be worth it to get your bulk up on some resources. I'll take two resources. There we go. Okay. All right, big turn here. So, I have to defeat the Bog Gator first, mm -hmm. uh, which is two. So my machete, I get plus one for the attack. So I have to engage it. It's and already kill engaged. It. It's fine. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So I have to test against it, and it'll kill it. Yep. So I'm doing two against four. 
five, six. Yep. Should be fine. Yeah. Minus one. one. We're Good. Beautiful. Dead. And then I'm going to engage the Ruguru, which gives me a resource. Your hunger is satisfied for the round. My hunger is satisfied. Um, I'm going to spend a resource to deal a damage. Well, okay, before we do that, mm -hmm. am I talking to this thing? Are you? It's, <clears throat> it has to be a group decision, and if it kills me, you're all to blame. So. Well, we know my vote. Your vote, your vote is to... My is, vote is to talk. I'm rolling the dice on this. Uh, I'm with him. All right, so give me all your clues. Let's let's chat with this guy. Or so, right, so you spent two of my clues to engage Ooh, him. Wait, right? I engage, do I have to engage him to talk to him, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. So we're good. All right. And I think before you look, before you decide uh, to look at the back of the act, did you want to use your cross? Oh, when I engage him it's like to right deal more damage? Him. That's the time. Yeah, I, I would like to. Just, okay. So let's just go ahead and use that to deal one damage to the Ruru. Four out of 15. Four out of 15. So now I can chat with him. You guys already p took off your Yeah, I spent things. the clues. Let's take a peek. Conversing with the creature is a daunting task. Whenever it is cornered, it bellows and attacks like a feral beast. If there is still some semblance of humanity left inside the creature, it is buried beneath the rage and bloodlust of the curse. If... Each of the following requirements are met, proceed to R3. Otherwise, flip this back to the A side. Hmm. So we have to have achieved all four of these requirements. We must learn about the curse. The investigators must have at least four clues as a group. We don't. It's, and it's four times the number of players, right? No. Really? This is, this is, it just says must have four. No, that's what that icon oh, means. Oh, four yeah. times. So we need 12 clues as a group. We don't. No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get right on it. Uh, There's we a must, bunch here for you. Yeah. We must keep it contained. The Ruguru must have a trap card attached to it. We must protect ourselves. The Ruguru must have at least one times the number of players damage on it. We must calm it down. The investigators must have either found a binding stone or found a strange doll. So we, did. we have the doll. You found the doll. I've got a plan now. So, okay. <laughs> so one is checked off the list. So there we go. And Or two of them, it was just... Two of them are checked off the list. We've damaged it, and we just need to trap it, mm -hmm. and we need to get the clues. So then here's kind of the decision point. What do we want to try to do? Do we want to go down that road, or do we want to try to kill it? Well, I'm just going to keep fighting it, and then you guys try to do the other stuff. I, you're going to be, by engaging it over and over, you're going to be using all the clues. So this, they kind of, we're never going to get 12 clues if you're fighting it. Interesting. Yeah, so we kind of have to like choose one route that we're going to pursue. We're at Four damage out of 15. Well, let's take a gander at what kind of damage I could do to it right now. Regardless of what decision we make, you mm -hmm. should probably attack it now because that will get it to leave. Otherwise, it's going to be on you doing this. Yeah, too. I can't do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll die. Um, so I need to attack it anyway. So I have the machete, which is two, mm -hmm. and the beat cap, which is one. Right? Yeah, if you want to do a damage to it, to its damage. Yeah, so I exhaust it. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then turn that to two. So, so Scott, hand us a damage for the room. Here you go. We're at five out of 15 there. Okay. And then... Um, so are you attacking with the machete? Yeah, I'm trying to think of how many... It, what is that? That gives it five to three? Five to two. Um... Six to three. It's at it's at three. We haven't bear trapped it yet. Oh, six to three. three. So let's and I need to get rid of machete anyway. So, all right. So it's seven to three. Perfect. And let's just hope I can kill this. I'm so scared. Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay. So two more so, damage to the Ruru. Um, two more. And then it's gonna move. And then it um, runs away. So it's going to go to the furthest location from what? It goes, after the root takes a damage, find the location furthest from all the investigators. Well, that would be... So it's kind of like any of these locations are all one way from one of us. So kind of it's your, your choice of the other locations. Um, this one doesn't have any clues on it. Or I could take I it here. Save this one. There. Yeah, that drops the most number of clues. I agree. So it's going to go there. So it's coming from here, so it gets mm -hmm. one there, one here, one here. There you go. All right. All right, and then I have one, mo one, one more, don't I? Um, 
I... No, you fought the gator, you engaged, engaged it, it, which was an action. And... And you fought it. So you're out of action. So I'd like to time. play elusive. Um, oop, that's... Oh, that's not what I want. Elusive. Um, I play only, only during my turn. I disengage from an enemy, from each enemy with n and uh, move to a revealed location with no enemies. So Sweet. So that gets you away from the dole. <laughs> gets me away from the dole. Several horror to you. Where, um, do you. where do you want to go? I want to come hang out with Jenny. All right. And so I'm going to go there. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, the only enemy hunted. Um, upkeep. Searching for Izzy. Revelation. Attach searching for Izzy to the location furthest from you. Yeah, okay. No. I mean, no, that doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, what does it say again? I have to go investigate it. It cost me two I, actions. I don't to think do you so. have to. I think I could do this while well, I'm here. What does it say? Because it's just, it's just actions that? printed on it. I think, I'm pretty sure that anyone can activate it. But it costs two actions. Yeah. I would rather have you go clue hunt. And you go deal with that? Uh, I'll, sure. go, I'll go deal with that. Okay. So that'll be my turn. So, Mythos phase, five out of five doom on a creature of the bayou. Scott, want to uh, sure. see what happens? A violent storm rolls in as your search continues. Black rain clouds conquer the sky. The air thick with humidity. You recall that all the recent killings took place late at night under the cover of dark clouds. A shiver runs up your spine and you cannot help but wonder, what if you are next? First, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. Alright, here you go. Here, cut away. There? Alright. Yeah, I'm going with there. Wow. Gutsy move. Alright. A low cut, a low, low split. That was just step one. If the Ruguru is in play, find a non-Bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Ruguru one location at a time until it enters that location. Damn it, why have I not dropped my trap yet? Where are we moving it? Either, like... With the fewest clues, so it's so got to be, be one of these two. The one other option is it, we can choose where it is, and it would basically move like out and back in. Um, I, was... I, don't, I don't actually want it by us. <laughs> there, there are uh, cards we haven't seen yet that punish us for being near it. All right, so <laughs> let's... Even if it's just connecting? Yeah. Let's yeah. throw it down here, then. Yeah, send it to the cabin. One, two, three. Hey, mister, thanks for the bear trap. Now uh, say hi to the Ruger for us. Mm -hmm. All right, the Ruguru feeds. Around you, the bayou, fe uh, bayou feasts. Flesh rips and jaws snap just beyond the trees, and light droplets of rain ripple upon the surface of the water. You can't tell exactly where the sounds are coming from. Perhaps it's the dreadful ambience of the bayou itself. Six doom to advance. Okay. Okay. All righty. There's ten clues right here. Yeah, eleven if you count the one in the corner there. You're in... And so, that's the end of that? No, we all have oh. to take cards. Yeah, we haven't even done our encounter cards yet. <sighs> on the prowl, Ooh. surge. Find a non-bayou location with the fewest clues on it, move the Ruguru one location at a time until it enters that location. Why I see. have I not dropped my trap? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's coming back. Or actually, no, here, then back. Right? No, because yes, no, do. totally, that works. But that'll have a we'll have one clue on it. Okay, there we go. And then we have one more clue here too. Mm -hmm. I need to take another one because that was surge. Yeah. Insatiable bloodlust attached to the Ruguru. The Ruguru gets plus one fight and plus one damage, plus one horror, and cannot be evaded. Uh, forced after the Ruguru takes damage, discard insatiable bloodlust. So, like the cool thing is that. You can get rid of that with Beat Cop if it's ever at your location, yeah. with, without even having to engage it and everything. That's good. Just, just do, give it a little poke, one, one, <laughs> little, uh, one little bullet from the Beat Cop. Pew pew. I also drew a copy of Insatiable Bloodlust. Oh no! So it just stacks on here. So now, if the Ruguru attacks you for any reason, it's up to four damage, four horror. <whistles> yeah. And it's too harder to hit. And can't be evaded. This is all very bad. Um, that is very bad. Let's stay away. go Hoover up some clues, sir. I'll go. I'll, I'll try it. Yeah. All right. Insatiable bloodlust. Are you sick? No, that was I not promise well I shuffled, shuffled this deck. Nice cut, Anne. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, um, that's just the end of the game. Well, uh, so you have ways to do one damage to it, and either one of them will knock off all three of those copies. 
Okay. So if you have the opportunity, please seize it. <laughs> okay. I'll do what uh, I can. Not that you do for now, like until the next time it moves, but. Yeah. So I think I want you to go first and just like get as many clues as you can. Agreed. You're sure you don't want me to search for Izzy? That's two actions. And then your yeah. next action will be to just to move. Yeah. No, we can't, and we can't afford that you're not, time. You're not wrong. Okay. I will move to the Forgotten Marsh. I'm. I think I'm gonna save my fingerprint kit for a harder location. So yeah, I'm this, testing. This one's a three. Yeah. I'm testing six versus two here. I'm hoping to get them both in one action thanks to being Rex. Plus one. Oh Yay. yeah. Yay! Okay. Both clues. And so you still have one more move? Yeah. So wherever I go from here, I'm gonna be in a bayou and this slime covered dole is going to jump on me next turn, but. I'm extremely healthy. I guess I don't mind that much, and then you can like move and mm -hmm. take care of it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So. And you could heal some Mahara too. Yes. Teamwork. Teamwork. So I will move to the brackish waters for now. Yeah. I have to lose two resources when I leave the marsh, but I did gain one from Milan Crisper when I investigated. Cool. And that's my turn. Right, I'm gonna go take care of this Izzy problem. So one, two. Okay, so it's your whole turn getting there? Uh, wait, so one move, second move, third, yep, it's my whole turn. All right. And... So I am actually really lamenting. I probably should have moved here because I could have just popped back and taken care of these guys. Um, now I need to spend a move to get there um, because if I, yeah. if I don't, then... One second. Before I do anything else, I'm going to, um, before I leave the Forgotten Marsh, I'm going to drop the bear trap there. Great. So it's attached now. Ruger is going to step in it next chance he gets. Great. Because we'll have to go through it. Um, the problem originally, we were just going to let my character take the curse of the Ruger and I was going to take the horror. Mm -hmm. But the beat cop is going to take it. And now I need the beat cop to kill the monsters. Um, insatiable. So I can't let the beat cop take the last horror, take a horror from you. It or he has take, two. It can take one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're fine then. Um. I mean, you still could move, move, and deal with those if you want, but it's not pressing. So I'll hang out down there okay. and take three cards. All right. Exhausted. All right. Enemy phase. Only the slime-covered dole acts. It's going to jump onto me since these locations are connected. Oh, after, at the end of my turn, I get a horror. So right. can you hand me a horror? I'm going to add it to my beat cop. Sorry, dude. So... When it enters a location, each investigator at that location takes one horror. I'll need a horror, please. And it's going to immediately attack me for a damage and a horror. So I also need a damage token. Thank you. Do you get a horror on top of... Oh, you already have that. Yep. Okay. So a total of one damage, two horror. But I'm... I mean, the damage isn't great. Horror-wise, I'm fine. I have seven sanity left. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. Right. Okay. So upkeep? Upkeep. Mythos phase, doom number one on the Ruguru feeds, and Anne, what do we get? On the prowl, surge. Find a non bio location with the fluid cues, move the Ruguru. So that now moves it to Jenny. That is the only location left with zero clues. Okay. okay. But, oh wait, these are, damn it, these are connected to each other, huh? So it's not going to go through my bear trap. Damn it. I probably misplayed that. I probably should have put the trap there. Well, you wouldn't have known. Oh. Because I had no clues, like, we could have seen this coming. Yeah, we could have seen yeah. that coming. That's all right. Oh, well. Does it do anything to Jenny? Oh, no. Sweet Jenny? No, okay. just chills. It's aloof. That's aloof. Yeah. I'm okay, and that alone. was Surge. Spawn at any bayou location. It's a hunter. What is it? What's it called? Uh, Marsh Gug. Ooh, that's new. Marsh Gug. Um, so at any bayou location. That would do the furthest one away from us, even though it can get to us quickly. If I spawn it at my bayou location, I can kill it. You're not... Well, so you'd be spawning it on top of me. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that because it'll hurt you. So, down here? Well, bayou is this row. Oh, sorry. So... Yeah, yeah that's fine. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, your turn. Mm, right. Ripples on the surface. Test willpower three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. Since I'm at a bayou location, I cannot commit cards. There are dangers within the mire that you can only begin to imagine. Okay, I do have plus one willpower from my camera. So, four versus three.
goal. Minus four since you're at a, since I'm at a bayou location. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna take three ore. Oof. Thank so you're you. gonna have to use yours to heal your own ore. <laughs> well, still have six. Yeah. Um, still. I, I have four remaining Five. sanity. Okay. When I upgrade my camera, um, okay. it will give me one more sanity too. Okay. Dragged under test agility. Oof. All right. Minus one. It was three versus three, so I Oof. get to keep this. Okay. But I wasn't going anywhere next turn anyway. And you're fully healthy, so if you take yeah. two damage. Yeah. All right, that's the end of that. Mm-hmm. All right. What are we doing here? What are we doing? You're helping me with the dole, right? So I should come up? The, the one other option is I could evade it, which would let you come up and kind of kill it at your leisure. Either you evade it and come down and get all five of those clues, or you evade it, get the five clues there, and I come up and kill it. Like, Yeah, because if you come up and kill it, then that... Yeah, that seems like the way to go. Why don't yeah. you go first? Okay, so I'm going to take my first move and come up here. Do I have to do anything to get out of there? No. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. So that's one move. Mm -hmm. Now I engage it Yes. for the second, so I get one of these lovely little guys. Now's the time if you want to use your cross. Oh, Zoe's cross is you spend it and deal one damage. So I'll do that. There we go. <laughs> and <laughs> so your your hunger is satiated. Yeah. And so now I got two da to deal two damage with this, right? Mm -hmm. If I win. Yeah, fight it with machete. That'll finish it off. And so what am I at? I'm at four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Sorry. Yeah. I'm terrible at that at <laughs> thing. Skull is minus four out of by your location, but that's still a hit. Good. Nice. God. It's dead. It's dead. All right. Good so job. So that was my three actions, I believe. Yes. So good news and bad news. The Marshagog's going to jump on you when it hunts. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll do two damage and one horror to you. But the good news is, it's not going to jump onto me. <laughs> yeah, but that'll <laughs> kill my beat. Oh, because, but I have another beat cop, so well, we're fine. you can put another horror on yourself before you kill the beat cop if you want to. I really would rather not. <laughs> I have another beat cop. Also, why don't I just heal you up a little? That would be lovely. I'll spend two resources on logical reasoning. Play only if you have at least one clue. Choose an investigator at your location. That investigator either heals two horror or discards a terror from your threat area. This guy? Two horror. Yay! Alright. Now I'm in much better, much better place. Thank you. Anytime. I think I'm just going to investigate here and leave. To get a couple of these clues then head down to the bigger one. Because I don't really want to chill in the bayou if I don't have to. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. So, it is one shroud, and I'm testing at six. Minus one. So, I succeed, and my Rex ability means I get two total clues, please. Thank you. Uh, I do get a resource from the professor. From the doctor, I guess. Right. And third action... Hmm. We could avoid the marsh gug jumping on you. I can move you, but with a card. Mm. Um, I actually don't, like, the main thing it does is damage, and you're not afraid of damage. No, so. I'm really not too worried about it. And as I said, I have another beat cop I can play right. to kill these things, which All is right. really what the beat cop needs to be so used. So I'm going to leave you to the gugs. That's fine. And move down to the park. Okay. And I'm done. Exhausted. What are you doing, what Jenny? What are you doing, Jenny? <laughs> Jenny is going to try and solve her sister's disappearance thing. Okay. So three shroud at that location. You would. Oh, just uh, two actions to investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, discard searching for Izzy. And uh, I can't start any more games with another mental trauma. So, <laughs> uh, this is why I'm being a little bit selfish here. You do already have two mental traumas, so I don't blame you. Alright, two streetwises, that bumps me up to nine. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. <laughs> this one. Minus four. Alright, I'll You're take good. it. You're good. Okay. Izzy goes away. I have one action left. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll just move away then. Cool. And that's All my right. turn. 
we have a hunter. The marsh goat is going to move to one of you guys. <laughs> to you. Okay. Yeah. So you can take it to your threat area. Okay. And he does one damage and one horror. Can I have one damage? Two damage. One Two horror. damage and one horror. And my poor sweet beet cop jumps in front of me like a dashing young man he is. Really? You have, you're going to kill the beat cop and you only have two horror on yourself? But that I is have, just selfish. I have another beat cop. You can't play it while there's a marsh gug on you, though. But I can kill the marsh gug and then play it next round. All right, if you say so. How high is he? He's three? No, you're good. I would, I would put a horror on yourself because you're going to want the... You guys suck. You're going to want his, his action. Fine. <laughs> All right. It's okay. We're up there. I just... I was just like offended for the beat cop that you would sacrifice him when you were still feeling pretty good. I was good. planning on sacrificing him. I would have been in a much better place if I sacrificed him. But you wouldn't have a friend. But I don't. I, I think you need his plus one. Fine. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, uh, but I don't engage him right now. So right, I don't fight him right now. So no, he did engage you though, so you get a resource. Yay! Okay, and upkeep. Ready all your cards. Mythos phase, two doom on the Ruguru feeds. Read it and weep in. Bog Gator. You get a resource. Um, I can use my cross immediately? Or... Because an enemy engaged you. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Boom, deal one damage mm -hmm. to him. Yeah. And hey, your curse is already... Satiated. Yeah. Great. Ripples on the surface. For each point you fail by, take one horror from this Willpower 3 test. Um, I can commit cards to this because I am at a Bayou location, but you know what? I I'm won't. sorry, rewind just two seconds. I forgot to do Dragged Under, so let's do the... Oh, and you... No, you moved. You should just have taken the two damage. Two damage, so that's that. You still feel fine. Yeah. Alright. Um, oh, God. It's fine. It'll be fine. Um... I just realized there was a card in the deck that would kill Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. There's not, there's not many copies of it in there. Um, okay, I'm not going to bump this up. So I'm testing four versus three. Minus two, I take one horror. That's fine. I, I had a card that if it was like three horror, I could have canceled it. But for one horror, I'll just take it and save the card. Spectral Mist. Uh, attached to a Bayou, Bayou location, limit one per location. Each skill test performed at attached location gets plus one difficulty. Um, and then you can test lore to disrupt. <laughs> I think I'm going to put it here. Just pilot. The cursed shores, yeah. Just, we just don't let, need to go there. Let's just never go there again. <laughs> let's not go there. Okay. It's full of mist and leeches. <laughs> that's the so, end right, of that? That's it. Okay. What are we doing? I've got a pretty straightforward just grab and clues turn. Can I go ahead? Yeah. Okay. So at the park, it's shroud three. I'm going to use my fingerprint kit. It's my last supply from that. So I'm testing at four, five, six, seven versus three. Plus one. Wow. Okay. I get three clues because one from... Investigating, one from Rex, one from Fingerprint Kit. Damn! Yeah! How many clues do you guys have now? I'm sitting on eight. eight. How many do we need? Four. Well, wow. yeah, four left. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty doable. I mean, even you guys, that's a one shroud location up there. Even you guys can find something there. Maybe mm -hmm. I might head that way in a minute. And Milan Christopher gave me a resource for investigating, which I'm going to spend on a magnifying glass. That's fast and says you get plus one intellect while investigating. There you go. My fingerprint kit was out of supplies, so might as well. And uh, second action, I'll investigate again. I'm going to try to just finish off these clues this round seven versus three again. Plus one. So Yay. if uh, Rex hadn't changed, I would get both these clues, but I only get one because it's <laughs> once, once per round now on his ability. Lame. Which means I got to do it one more time, but it's another seven versus three. Goal, minus two since I'm not in a bayou. Great. Okay, I'm going to do a couple reactions to getting the last clue. My camera's going to get its third evidence, so now it's giving me plus one sanity. And I have, crack the case. Fast, play after an investigator discovers the last remaining clue at your location. 
Investigators at your location gain a total of X resources distributed as you wish, where X is that location shroud value. So I'm the only one here. I'm going to get three resources. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And that's my turn. I think I did all right. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to fight a little bit, if you want to let me do that, or do yeah, you want to go? Ahead. go? I am deciding which other card I want to give myself. Okay. We've got lots to fight. Which one do I have to fight first? You can fight them in any order. Because your machete's not doing bonus damage, I would recommend the gator because one is enough to finish it off. Okay, so I need to do the machete for this one. So it's two against, what did we decide? I think you have six. Six? Okay, so that's as much as I need. Um, Solid. I'm going to start by playing Trusted, which is an upgrade, fast, play only during your turn, attached to an ally asset you control, attached to asset gets plus one health and plus one sanity. Oh, nice. So my beat cop has a little yeah, bit see? more. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to buy a new beat cop. Aren't you glad to <laughs> buy a new beat cop? Man. Just gonna buy he me. is a person. I have a beat cop. I could just buy right now. <laughs> Actually, I can't, but that's okay. Speaking of buying, um, did you pay the one that that card cost? Did I? I don't know. I think I did. Yeah. We're gonna... Oh, it's a fast. Yeah, I did not. Um, okay. Anywho. Um, let's go back to my four, uh, two to six. Sweet. For the Bob Gator. Nice one. You're good. We're good. Gator's dead. Hi, Gator. All right, so then for the Marsh Gug, it is three to six. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. Let's make that a little better. Um, survival Knife Icon. Cool. So four to six. Uh, two. Seven to three, I think? Seven to three. <laughs> Jesus, my math today. It's okay, it's warm in here. It's a wee bit warm. So I'm in a good place. Oh, Elder Sign. Oh, plus one. If the seal test is successful during an attack, the attack deals plus one damage. Sick. That does three total damage. Three total damage. So I have one more turn, which I have to kill. Yeah, you could either attack it or you could beat cop it. And I'm not even I'm not even trying to get you to beat cop it. I'm just pointing it out. Well, I, I, can I, I don't know what the better. I can beat cop it because he won't die now. He won't die now. So let's do that. Cool. So that's dead. Yeah, Gog is dead. Nice. That's one of the tougher enemies. So nice to have it in the discard pile. All right. Um, and yep. that's the end of my turn. Um. Right. All you. I think the only things you did that were actions there were fight the gator once and fight the gug once. I think you have one left. Even though it took me two turns. Oh, the beat cop is not an action. Mm -mm. Awesome. Should I try and get a clue? I'm terrible at that, but... Um, I mean, it's not going to hurt you. I can yeah. add some icon. I add an icon. There's no effects here that would like punish you for trying, so... I'm, Is it worth it, or uh, should I go try and kill some dudes, or...? Uh, there's nothing you really need to kill. I would say either go for it or just draw a card or something. But I'm not, I'm not opposed to you taking a shot at it. Alright. Two books. Three books. Um, the Shroud of One. Right? Uh, yeah, so three versus one. Okay. Minus one. You got it. Yay! Cool. So what are we, how many do you have? I have ten. You're at eleven. In we order to, it would be two to engage it and twelve to resolve, so, so. We have one here and two here. Yeah, there's enough in our little neighborhood to, to finish well, it. You'd have to do this one because it's four shroud. Um, true. But, but <coughs> I, I, I can do that. Doable. Um, That's the end of my turn. We also, before we can end it, it needs to move through the bear trap. Yeah. So, <laughs> hopefully it does it like on its own, but if we need to go attack it to force it to move, like, mm -hmm. I guess we will. Okay. What well, I'm going to do, do is kind of help sure. myself out a little bit here. So I'm going to spend emergency cash, give myself three resources. Nice. And then I'm going to spend those resources on Leo De Luca, and that'll help me because it gives me an extra action for later. And to move here, don't have to spend resources. Yeah, because you didn't have any. Nice. <laughs> um, and then I get an extra action because of Leo. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any resources to up my stuff. So your extra action would be getting resources. If you want. Or so what am I, three against trying one? Trying to get a... Let's try and get a clue. She yeah. passed that test. Yeah. I also can help you out with dodge if anything attacks you. Minus one. one. I yeah, think yeah, I you got it. Good. And so I keep losing count. Okay, so we have 12 between us. <coughs> so we need two more. Two more. And we need to get him up here. 
Yeah, two more and get the Ruger and the Bear Trap. Okay, so that's the end of your turn, and can I have one more Doom? Well, uh, first... Oh, I always forget, you have <laughs> yeah. to do that, First I'm enemies and I'll keep. Uh. Alright, enemies? Uh, mm, I think everything that hunts, you've killed, so... Yay! <laughs> no enemies I'm and I'll keep. keep. Ooh, fun new card. Oh, fun new card here too. Okay, Doom number three on the Ruger feeds. Yeah. Enjoy. Curse Swamp. Test three willpower. For each point you fail by, take one damage. If you are at a Bayou location, you cannot commit cards to this skill test. Oh, I was just going to say you could put Fearless in and try to heal a horror, but mm -hmm. you can't. There's nope. No reason to even look at your hand. No reason to even look. All right, what do we have? Three willpower to... Mm -hmm. Four willpower. Okay. Not gonna do well. You're not afraid of damage, though. No. Oh. Auto fail. Auto fail. So that's going to be three damage for you. Okay. Woof. Thank you. I also drew cursed swamp. This is scarier for me. <sighs> three willpower for each point I fail by take one damage. I would have to knock out Milan Christopher if it if it comes to it. Um, but I can commit cards. Oh, you know, no, I'll be fine. I have a backup plan. Okay. Minus four. Okay. I do take three damage, but I have deny existence. It is fast. It says play when an encounter card or enemy attack would cause you to do one of the following. Discard cards, lose resources, lose actions, take damage, or take horror. And then it says you ignore that effect. Yay! So... I will not be taking damage, Cursed Swamp. Alright, Rougarou move. Spectral Mist. Mm. Um, so it goes to a Bayou, limit one per location, so it has to be different. Okay. Not so bad. And that's it. Our turn. <coughs> it is not moving through the bear trap. <laughs> Alright. This is very annoying. Alright. Oh, let's see. Should I just go and attack it? Is there anything you can do that would make him... Move? I can go attack it. Yeah, three doing three damage to him would. Yeah. So you automatically get damage with Zoe. Um, before I do that, let me. it's going to cost me one, two to move there and engage. That's three. That would be all... All my actions. All your actions. Um, with Between the cross and the beat cop, you could take off the all the buffs so that at least he's not going to attack you for five and five, but he would attack you. So maybe I should just move here... And then next round, go in so that I have a little bit more. It'd be a good time to have dynamite. You don't okay. have another copy. Do I don't you? have another dynamite now. <laughs> you could even afford it. I have a dodge, yeah. but. Oh well. Then you could go in and engage it, and if it gets an attack in, who cares? You dodge it. That's what dodge is for. Yeah. So that's a thought. So I go one, two, engage it, mm -hmm. beat cop it. Or cross it, yeah, either one. Or cross it, and then it's gone. The buffs will be gone. The buffs will be gone. And if it tries to attack me back, I dodge. Let's do that. Why not? Cool. So one, two, and then beat cop it. Just or uh, So that'll kill your beat cop. What you could do, actually, you could beat cop it and play your other beat cop, if that's what you want to do. Well, I mean, or I, if I did Zoe's Cross, I'm just spending one resource. Oh, let's back up real quick. When you passed, uh, oh, when yeah. you passed through the marsh, you lost two resources. Okay, so I lose two resources, and then I come down here, and if I do Zoe's, uh, by engaging it, I get one, and then if I Zoe's Cross it, I just... You, th then you knock all the all the. Let's just do off. that. Okay, so we're spending two clues between us, like if you spend yours and I'll spend one of mine yep. to engage it. Yeah. So you just got this pile of cards and tokens that is the Ruru. But you did a damage, so that takes but that away, right? It takes, yeah, yeah. I did this, so this <laughs> takes all the these away. So all the bloodlust falls off of it. Thank God. And that damage satiated your curse for the round. Excellent, which I hadn't actually reset. And, all right, so okay. that's the end of my turn. Well, I want to keep getting clues. I'm going to see if I can get that four shroud one. I will definitely go to the, uh, oh, the Faubourg Marini... Location. Is that is that the name of a bar or something? I don't know. Okay, so I am up by three on this investigate. I'm fine with that. Minus three. I just passed. I'll there take that clue. I'll take a resource from Milan Christopher. 
And are we at the total number that we need? I think we need Scott to get one at the bracket of water. <coughs> Do you want to move up? Yeah. <sighs> I guess. I don't love being at the bayou, but sure. Sure. I mean, just why not to increase our odds of going yeah, to get him. Yeah, I can actually dramatically increase your odds if you want me to. Um, okay, so that's my turn. What are you doing, Scott? Try and get the clue at your location. Yeah. Well, I will try to do that. So how many clues do we need? I think Just the one. Uh, so I have 10, 11. 11, and we need 12. We already are engaged with the Ruru. We will need, if the Ruru like moves off, leaves, and we have to engage it again, we will need another I'll just, I'll just keep it with trapped. me and I'll move. Yeah, assuming it doesn't move like from an encounter card or something, right. okay. then, then that would work. Yeah. It's three versus one. Do I want to add anything to it? I mean, if you, you can streetwise or I can put in a card. <clears throat> in fact, let's, okay. we'll just streetwise. All right, six versus one. Ooh, the elder thing. Minus four, if the Ruger is at your location, it attacks you. Neither is true. You're good. Clues, we're at 12. Yay! We just need him to come here. Yeah. Well, what else should I Ooh, do? Ooh, we're close. I'm going to take two resources and end my turn. Okay. Uh, enemy phase, nothing hunts, but the Ruguru attacks you. And, and I dodge it. All right. Like a mofo. Yes. Ah. Uh, dodge, fast, play when an enemy attacks and investigate at your location, cancel the attack. Nice. Cost you a resource. Boom. Well worth it. Okay. Upkeep. Get that resource back. I got a treachery. Uh-oh. I did too. You smite the Wicked. Discard the cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Attach Smite the Wicked to that enemy and spawn it at a location furthest from you. When the game ends, if the attached enemy is in play, you suffer one mental trauma. Mm. Okay. okay, well, start by seeing what the enemy will be. What the enemy is a Bog Gator. Okay. Which is not bad. So spawn it at a location furthest from you, which is going to be any of these four. I wonder if... You could put it by us, and Scott can kill it before the game ends. <coughs> that would be great. Could give it a try. Are you feeling decent about killing a bog gator? I would. It's only two fight. No, but I can give it a try. <laughs> you got a fire axe. You, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. Probably fine. It'll be fine. Fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. 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 <laughs> yeah, I think I can kill it. <laughs> Excuse me. Does it matter which one of these two? Um, not particularly. All right. We're just gonna put it here. Yeah, so I also drew a treachery. Jeez. I drew a drawing the sign. Uh, it goes in my threat area, and my maximum hand size is uh, reduced to five. At the end of the upkeep phase, so right now you got to discard down to three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm glad. At least glad we've made it past you having a funeral for every card you have to discard. <laughs> yes. Well. It's not did okay. you discard three or did you discard five? He Disc discarded three, so that I'm. So that now he has three left. Got yes. it. Okay. Okay, new round, new mythos phase. Doom number four out of six. All right. We're doing good on time. And what do we get in? I don't want to do this. A swamp leech. Oh. Any biolocation. Leech cannot be evaded. Yeah, pile it with the other leeches. Hi. On the prowl. Ah, okay. This is this is going to move the Ruger, which is fine. It's just going to... Does we it attack need, me when we it... We need more clues to re-engage it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's... Okay. So, on the prowl says, Surge, find Revelation, find a non bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Ruger one location at a time until it enters that location. Should go here. Um, Does it gotta go there anyway? Or do we want to send it back to you by having it just bounce up, out and back in? Um, yeah, Whatever. You should go there and get those two clues. And I'd like to get the clue that he's about to drop back off this location so we can get the victory point. Okay, that's Ideally. fine. Let's let's do that. So bump bump. There we go. Yeah, so it's not engaged with you anymore. Just at the location. Okay. So one here. And one at the location. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of clues. Oh, oh sorry, I, I got one here. <laughs> I'm out of clues. Okay, that was a little bit of a bummer. Oh, silver lining though, it did enter the bear trap. Yay! So the bear trap is attached right there. All right. That was Surge, so... And it's not engaged with me, so next round I could go and kill my baddie. On the prowl. Oh! It's gonna move again. 
Should have it do the same thing again. To a location with the least clues. It can't go again because oh. it no longer has the least clues, so it does have to go over to... Yeah. This one, because I if I go here, I can kill that this, guy, and then I can... This way we can just team up on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll join the club over I at the party. I have a clue here, and then... Do you have one more clue? Uh, I've got a couple on over And another me. one here. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't know if we're getting the victory point where you just put all those footprints. That's okay. We'll live. Okay. Um... I have another card. Beast of the Bayou. Oh god. Okay. Driven by hunger, it cares for naught but its next meal. The Ruguru makes an immediate attack against each investigator at the Ruguru's location and each connecting location. Nobody... Oh, you both are at We're it again. Both oh no! It by this. So it is... What does the bear trap do? Does it reduce its damage or horror? Yeah. No. It just it's fight and evade. So it's gonna do two and two to both me and Scott. Oh, we can... That's, that's okay. Okay, I'm at 8 out of, thanks to my camera, 10 sanity. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Is there it your turn yet? <laughs> no, we just are suffering. <laughs> Ripples on the surface. Uh, test 3 will. Oh, I take horror. Zero. Yay! Oh, nice. So I didn't fail? No. Good. Because I only have three horror left. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's the end of that. Okay. So here's... I was going to put my plan on the table, but I'll let you go oh, first. I was just going to say, can we end it this round? I think we can. If, okay. If you go get those two clues. I can do that. And then I will go and engage him. Um, can I do that? Can I do my stuff before you do so I can maybe kill, kill my gator? dude? I don't know. No, if, I was going to say kill my... I don't know if you have another... Yeah, the gator. Oh, that's yeah. a gator. Yeah. It's, on, it's like attached to a body. One, two... Three and engage mm. cross to kill. Cross beat to cut. Yeah, cross beat cut would kill it. Let's do that. Okay. So I don't. Let's have, let's you do that. Yeah, why don't you All go right. first? One. Do I need to re do I need to do something to get out two of here? Resources. Spend two resources to leave there. Okay. There we go. Two. This is my second move, and then third move goes. Yep. Th yeah. There so we the, go. So the gator engages you. And I get one. For that. That wicked, wicked gator. And then I spend that resource to Zoe's cross, and I kill my beat cop. So there, that, and that's dead. Worth it. Um, yep, yeah, that goes back there, that goes there. The curse is satiated. satiated. Um, and my nice. poor sweet beat cop. Please. Okay, so, and we're at, just to confirm, 12, 13, 14. So yes, if I go get two clues, Scott can go engage and end it. Yes, that's the sweet. Goal. Okay. I have something to talk about if I get these both for one action, so let's see. I'm going to go to Forgotten Marsh. Uh, the Spectral Mist is adding one to the difficulty, so it's basically three shroud. I'm at four, five, six, seven, but I want to make sure to get both clues in one action, so I'm going to play Inquiring Mind. It has three wild icons and says commit to a skill test only if there's a clue at your location. So, yeah. ten versus three. Minus one. Good. Both clues. Sweet. Yay! Okay. So you still have more moves. You know what? Uh, yeah, one action left. So I wanted to suggest something, but actually I might have already talked myself out of this mentally. I have a card in my Rex deck called Delve Too Deep. Mm -hmm. What it does if you play it is all players draw an encounter card, but then it goes to the victory display and is worth an experience point. Mm. So like when we're pretty sure we're going to win, we just... I don't think we should do it because he has so little sanity left. He's got three. He's got five if you count Leo. I don't um, see how it can go that's wrong. That's true. I really. about Leo. Right? Like, you have... I have you, three. You taking three horror here would knock you out. Three horror would also knock me out. Hmm. I feel like that is very dangerous. It's a, it's a low chance. Are we, do we take that chance for a victory point? I'm okay with it, but if you guys aren't, I won't play it. As long as the Ruguru doesn't move, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I thought about this, and this is why I said I almost talked myself out of it. If it moves once, we can, like, move it to... Basically, we can, we can keep it in this area. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, you know what? If it moves, it drops a clue here, and we don't get that victory, victory point. So in that case, you know what? Fuck it. Like... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think we should do it. <laughs> Let's get at least one victory point out of this thing. Well, like, the Delta Deep would be one. Yes. Uh, let's not do it. I don't. I don't want right, to. Let's get it. our guaranteed victory point. So, right. Was there anything you'd like to do on your? Oh, I have one action left. I don't even want to risk drawing a weakness, so I will just take a resource. 
Mr. Moneybags over there. I have a lot of resources. All right, so I'm going to move one. Okay. And then I will spend all of the clues. Well, so you're spending two to engage it, right? Two to engage, so I'll okay. spend these two. And then I'll spend the rest of the clues for this part. Yeah, so you're looking at, at the back. Reread so that to make sure to we did it. Just double check. Uh, the investigators must have four times the number. Investigators clues as a group, so 12? We have 12. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about as a group. I have 12 you clues. Have 12. <laughs> uh, we must keep it contained. He must have a, uh, a trap attached to it. Bear trap. trap. Uh, we must protect our... Oh, I'm sorry. Have at least one damage. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and we must calm it down. This, the investigators must have either found a binding stone or found a strange doll, which I yes. found. Oh, Where was the binding stone? You remember oh, finding it's probably at the other place. Yeah. So uh, you, remi you remember finding a strange doll? Yeah. I think it was in the other location, yeah. which we did not have. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so we've met those, so we get to go to R3. All right, that means the game's over. Yay! Nice job. It seems like, it seems like we did well. Let's see what happens. Let's find out. Somehow, you have managed to quell the rage and bloodlust of the curse within the creature, and in moments, the shape of a young, dark-skinned man stands before you, panting and sweating. He seems to only just now understand everything he's done, and agrees to flee to a secluded corner of the earth, where he can harm no one. However, the curse lives on. He sees it in your eyes, and grips your arm tightly. Do not let it take control, he warns. <laughs> I was weak, but you, I can tell you are strong. Control the curse, as I could not. In your campaign log, record that the Ruguru escaped and you embraced the curse. The bearer of the curse of the Ruguru weakness must add monstrous transformation to his or her deck. Super. So. If we'd killed it, I'm sure I wouldn't have had to. Well, why don't you take a look at it? Monstrous transformation. Oh, it's an asset card. Fast. Set the base value of your willness and book smarts to two. Set the base. Ooh. Set the base value of your fight and, um, what's the evade? Agility. Mm -hmm. Agility to five. So I bump up one. Exhaust, monstrous transformation, fight, you deal one damage for this attack. So like, uh, it's just an asset that I get to use anytime to exhaust for one damage. Yeah. So you, so for the rest of this campaign, you you both have the curse weakness and the curse asset. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> to uh, use as you see fit. Super. Yeah. That went a little bit better than the train. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. I think that's just the one yep. from the park. Looks okay. Like it. We broke even because we spent one experience mm -hmm. to play the scenario. And that's it. All right. Nice job. Yay. How'd you guys like the bayou? Was it, was, fun. it was a nice uplifting bit after the train. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It went relatively smoothly for us, yes. which, which is nice. Um, yeah, I oh, wish you had let me delve. Mm. Oh. Well, let's look at what we would have gotten here. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. I would have gotten a swamp leech. Oh, that's fine. Which would have gone there. Yeah. You would have drawn a spectral mist. Okay, yeah, that would be fine too. And I would have drawn, holy shit. <laughs> I would have drawn a dark young host, which could spawn at any bayou location. So maybe not, oh. that, not that bad. We would have had the victory point. We would have gotten out scot free. Not oh, scot free. That, but... that, that guy is rough. Um, um, oh, but he has a victory point on him. He, but I don't, think we, I don't think we would have stopped <laughs> to fight him. But... No, 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 no. All right, so we All right. maybe yeah. could have gotten but, two. But you know, we, we broke even. We got Anne a shiny new asset. And, uh, and curse. And a curse, but you know. Oh, who's, we who's, who's counting, really? Who's ca I'm counting. <laughs> well, nice job. Well, it's good to be back alive. Yay, welcome <laughs> back. Rex is happy to be on the team. I felt like he was still very good, even though both he and Milan Christopher were like brought down a peg by those changes. They, I still ended with ten ass or ten, yeah. ten resources yeah. and twelve clues. So you did just fine. They seem to do just fine. All right, thanks guys. Next time we will get back on track. No pun intended from the train, <laughs> but back to the Dunwich Legacy. There we we'll, go. I think we'll have made it to Dunwich. We, uh, I think we walk back from here. In the train. Sounds about right. <laughs> it went off the rails, but you know, we'll get there and <laughs> play that soon. Yeah, good. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, be optimal.